It was the summer of 76. I sold my 63 pan and built a stroked 58 pan shovel with a 22 over Springer. During the day, I was wrenching on bulldozers at a heavy equipment dealership. At night, I was hanging out with a bunch of Harley riders in the parking lot of an Arby's restaurant, watching the girls drive by on the restless ribbon. One of the guys there was a prospect for the Rogues Motorcycle Club. His name was Old Man. The club was having some problems with another club. And one of the guys from that club, is actually his name was Shotgun, saw Old Man in the parking lot and rolled up. He had two sawed off shotguns that he pulled out and pointed at Old Man and announced to everybody that he was gonna kill Old Man because he was a member of the Rogues. I thought, you know, old man's got four kids. I don't have any kids. You know, if somebody's gonna get shot here, it's gonna be me. So I stepped in front of both of those guns in front of everybody and uh, told Shotgun to shoot me instead of old man. And uh, Shotgun put his shotguns back underneath his long trench coat and got back in his car and off he went. And not a week went by and old man came back and said, uh, president of the club wants to meet you. My name is Edward Winterhalder, and I'm the world's leading authority on motorcycle clubs and the biker lifestyle. My 11 books about the culture are sold all over the world and published in multiple languages. I was 14 years old. It was 1969. I was at a carnival in North Brantford, chasing girls, having fun and a pack of Hells Angels from New York City pulled in and thought, man, that's what I gotta do with my life. One of the major facts about being in the biker lifestyle is that for most people, the love of the motorcycle is born into them. The original draw is camaraderie and brotherhood. And then of course, the love of Harley-Davidson motorcycles was the glue that held it all together. I am the go-to guy in the world when it comes to things about the biker lifestyle and motorcycle clubs. And the media is skewed in their perception of our lifestyle. Most people believe that bikers, they're all killers and rapers and, and that's it, and meth heads. And that's complete opposite of what it is. Most of the guys, 70, 80% of them are just working guys. You know, anything they're guilty of is having too much fun on the weekends. The Harley lifestyle in the U.S., in North America, is dying. When I was 25 years old in 1980, I was the age of Harley's average customer. When I was 35, I was the age of Harley's average customer. And when I was 45, I was the age of their average customer. And now I'm 61 and I'm not far away from the age of their average customer. Youngsters today don't think that Harleys are cool. These days, Harleys are known as an old man's bike. And the motorcycle clubs in North America all of them are suffering from the fact that there's not enough youth to carry the flag forward. One of the biggest reasons that I like living in Dubai seven, eight months out of the year is the fact that I'm surrounded by a lot of young Harley riders that think Harleys are cool. And I am almost the oldest guy over there. I like having the youngsters around me. It gives me a sense of having a chance to live my life over again and to hopefully pass on some of my knowledge to where they won't repeat some of the mistakes that I've made. I see it as my job to try to preserve for generations to come accurately what the biker lifestyle is all about and what motorcycle clubs are all about. Hopefully they'll read my books and be able to understand what our lifestyle is all about.